Sam MGTOW here with over 9,000 opinions. Welcome to the video. The Simptality. Pretty scary stuff. I've definitely been there. I have the Simptality forever imprinted onto my brain, not only from all of the hundreds of my possible previous lives that I've lived as a simp, but from the brainwashing of the culture I grew up in. Now, before I go any further, I should probably define what a simp uh, means to me. A simpleton, a foolish slash naive person, especially in regards to the dating game. Also, simple-minded, only thinking about the golden V or the CC. But simp is usually referred to when talking about men being submissive in such a large degree to their significant other that it becomes hard for people not to ridicule them and make YouTube videos about them. Or if the simp is single, then he lets the presence of an attractive female rule and influence his thoughts and actions to a much greater degree than she deserves. MGTOW is about taking back the power. Don't let women, don't give women power over you or your mind just because they might be good mating partners. Let women come to you. Then talk with them, see if you like each other, and tell each other your long-term plans when it comes to dating slash having life partners. Spiders sit in their web, and then after feeling an edible disturbance through the vibrations, they can't help themselves but go into hunting mode. Same with simps, when they see a really attractive mate. They almost literally cannot help their thoughts become consumed by notions of dating this girl. Now, of course, that is one of our most natural drives as an organism, the drive to reproduce and mate with women, but the question is, is it not also one of our drives to act violently when things don't go our way? As human beings, we are in constant battles with our primitive programming, and the dating game is no different. What separates human beings from other animals is our ability to rise above programmed thinking and to have thoughts of our own, democracy for example, that are complicated and creative and long term. We rise above our programming all the time, and MGTOW is no different. MGTOW is like sharpening up your tools and doing research on your enemy before you go into battle. Now, I'm not one of those MGTOWs that thinks all women are the enemy, but some are, and you better do what you can to not fall under her spell. Realize that what is perhaps most important is your mentality, your active thought process. When you see a cute girl walk in the room out of nowhere, yes, you can look and think about her for a second, but just like maybe you would with anyone, but 10 minutes later, are you still thinking about her? Why are you giving her so much attention? Does she really deserve this attention or does something else slash someone else in the room? It's kind of like a catnip addict sitting in a room and then all of a sudden someone brings in some catnip and puts it on the table. That is what super attractive young women are like to heterosexual men. And the mentality is about breaking free from your control, uh, from that control over your mind. Once a catnip addict can have a normal conversation around catnip and not worry about it, he or she is definitely on the road to success and recovery. Now don't get me wrong, I've been there, I've been under the spell of the simptality more times than I could count, but that doesn't stop me from getting right back on that horse. Because after all, I could never stay on the ground now that I know that the horse exists. Now that I've taken the red pill, now that I've woken up to the reality of the dating game and female nature and MGTOW and self-improvement, I could never fully go back to not yearning for getting back on that horse and proudly maintaining my mentality. I want to share a brief story before I continue as an example of my weakness and as an example of how the mentality helped me walk away making the right choice and with pride. So my dad is kind of wealthy and he has a vacation home. Recently I was with my family there and these two cute girls came across our path. One of them, extremely sexy, gives me the eyes like you wouldn't believe. I gave her a heavy stare back, and 
I was surprised how long we eye doinked each other. Then they walked away, and so did we. Uh, for the next five minutes straight, I was regretting, I was regretting not going up and talking to this girl. She had expressed some solid, nonverbal interest. I was on a good streak of no fat, and the best part was, I had that vacation home to myself that night, meaning I could reasonably get some sexual action if I played my cards right. That girl giving me the eyes in the open house was like getting Delta two pair. I wanted to just tell my family I'll be right back and go running after those girls and try to make something happen. But I didn't. I ended up doing nothing about it. Now this is partly due to fear of failure, laziness, and cowardice, but mostly I think it's due to the mentality, and perhaps more importantly, not wanting to be a simp. Obviously chasing after some girl because she gave you the eyes is being a simp, at least in part. Which sometimes you have to do if you want to make the first move and see what happens, but to what degree are you willing to simp? Will you still be able to live with yourself, slash, will she have any respect for you once you're done doing whatever simp thing you're about to do? So I didn't want to be a major simp, plus I started thinking about other things. Is this girl even 21? I had alcohol and weed I wanted to partake in with them, but it would be legal to give those things to these girls if they weren't 21, so that could be a serious crime I was committing. Uh, plus, even if they are 21, if they were under the influence, would our possible sexual contact be legal? Could they say that I raped them or something? Yes. No one else would be around, so it's my word against theirs, and since they were complete strangers, I shouldn't trust them not to ruin my life like that. So, drinking and smoking were off the table because I think they weren't 21. Also, sexual contact would be extremely risky. Also, if they were willing to have sexual contact with some random guy that they just met, like me, uh, maybe I shouldn't trust them. Even if they say that they don't have STDs, or if they say they're a virgin. Also, and this one might have been the biggest reason I didn't go looking for them, I don't trust them to know about my dad's house. If I took them there, they would know where a house is that people aren't constantly living in, and they might try and break in another time or tell someone else about it, etc. I didn't want to be the reason some local peeps broke into my dad's house. So after thinking about all that could go wrong, I was very happy I didn't chase the golden bee that day. But I definitely thought I wanted to for a minute there. I was almost out of control. But then I remembered MGTOW. The truth is, most of us have slipped up and simped around, but that's okay. We can all learn from it and make better choices. If you act like a simp one night, think about it the next day. Think about what went well and what didn't. Think about if you're willing to be a simp in order for things to go well, or if you want to maintain your pride and have the right mentality. Don't just look after your pride, look after your freedom. Look after your time. Look after your personal goals. Does being a simp and following a girl around the mall while her holding her bags just so you can have potential access to her body, if you get that, violate your freedom, goals, pride, or time? Plus, if you're simping for this person, you probably aren't doing a thorough vetting process, which means even if you do have consensual sexual interactions, you could get an STD from the other guy who was simping for her, and you could have her file charges against you 40 years down the line, and you could have her draining your sexual energy, and you could get her pregnant, and have to pay child support, and you could break one or both of your hearts by getting too involved before you really know each other, and trust each other. Even if you do trust her, and do everything right, you could still have a very bad time with her, but the point is that having the right mentality and not tapping into the simptality is going to give you a much better shot at having a positive relationship with 
another person or persons. The sympathy is dangerous and laughable and not something I would recommend. However, if you find yourself making a simp mistake, don't fret. You can always start again and go down the right path. Even the best of the best sports athletes make mistakes all the time. It happens. But they make far fewer mistakes than most people, and that's what makes them special. It's like when you're battling with nofap. You have to just keep trying even when you fail. You have to think about where your head was at uh, when you were failing. You have to think about why you are battling in the first place. What is at stake in this battle if you win or lose? I hope this video on simps does not upset people. I, un I understand the simp mentality. It is literally programmed into our DNA to be chasing around women and doing what we can to get access to the golden V. However, I think something deeper and more valuable written into our DNA is the desire to be proud of yourself and what you have accomplished and to provide the best life for your personal legacy, i.e. kids, uh, but also for the legacy of your people, i.e. friends, family, fandoms, etc., and for the legacy of your planet. Now, I know some MGTOW out there think, or some MGTOW out there never want to have kids, and that's fine, but I do. And because of that, I'm thinking very carefully about where exactly I spend my energy and time and sexual attention. Does what you are doing help you on your journey to be proud of yourself and what you've accomplished, and does it help you provide the best circumstances for your legacy? I don't think the simptality is a good move towards those ends, or any desired ends, really. The desired ends, so to speak, are the women who are completely unattracted by the simptality. Those are the highly desired ends that you want to upend, so to speak, but intended. Saying MGTOW here with over 9,000 thank yous for watching the video. Until next time.